So I'm going to uh, do a little review today on the Bragara BPR-17 uh, Premium Tactical. Um, this uh, I found no reviews online on this specific rifle. Um, Bragara is interesting to me because they got in bed, I don't know, five, six years ago with Ed Schillen, um, <clears throat> who uh, produces arguably the finest barrels in the world. Uh, so, just going to do a little unboxing and my first impressions of the of the rifle itself. Um, so to start out with, it comes in about the nicest shipping box I've ever seen. I wouldn't call this a case per se, um, but it's a pretty nice shipping box. Um, it's eh, kind of cheesy as far as uh, as far as it goes with uh, the thickness uh, the locks are really really difficult to manipulate um, but once you open it up you get to um, an inside that is well thought out um, gives you kinda maybe enough room if you're gonna put a small scope on there but um, you know uh, you know, it's it's a neat idea. Like I say, it's a it's a great shipping case. Uh, I wouldn't certainly wouldn't use it. I'm a fan of Storm. Uh, rifle even comes Velcroed into place. Um, we have underneath our little foam cutouts here. We've got a bolt for the rifle and came with an original uh, Accuracy International 5 round magazine. Um, Bolt has some twisted fluting on it which is a nice touch. Um, this comes in an XLR element chassis and there's the test target. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> To be expected from something that Ed Schillen got involved with. Uh, that's a three-shot group that's uh, a ragged hole. Um, so let's get the bolt locked into the gun here. Also comes with a Timony flat trigger. Uh, Set it, uh, I, I put a trigger gauge on and set it about 2.2 pounds currently, which is pretty light. It breaks nice, as Timonies always do. Uh, one bonus that I did not expect was it came with a dead air muzzle brake that is, uh, as many of you know, follow the, the rise of dead air. is a pretty neat muzzle brake. It works well in its own right. And also, it uh, it acts as a, a quick connect for uh, their suppressors. And it came with a 20 MOA rail, which I did not expect either one of those items on this rifle, uh, saving me probably close to $300. Um, very impressed. Nice free float chassis. Um, one thing that I'm not um, a big, big fan of is they have a proprietary, just like everybody does these days, why can't people just agree on this is a good system and go with it? Because now I have to seek out a proprietary Picatinny rail for the bottom here to mount an Atlas bipod on. Um, I don't, you know, that's something that's not appreciated, at least... You know, who uses Harris bipods these days? I don't. Um, but, um, you know, a standard rifle stud is 100% useless to many people who employ Picatinny mounted um, uh, bipods. So, um, have to get their specific Picatinny rail to put on this rifle before I can even uh, begin to look at it but um, 
nice accuracy international uh, magazine um, fits in there extremely nice you know accuracy international standard uh, well here AICS so there's a couple different brands of magazines that you can employ into into this uh, XLR chassis the chassis in itself um, was much more than I had expected um, it probably can't see it there but it's got some Bragara marking here um, it is this is considered their light tactical chassis in the element series and it's in, in, uh, engraved element there uh, XLR industry logo there uh, much much more robust than I had expected I had never touched anything from XLR before um, very very nice craftsmanship um, I don't know if the guys from XLR will ever see this but um, something that you might want to come out with um, is a shroud a lot of guys like to shroud the entire barrel um, so maybe uh, an aftermarket shroud that you can bolt onto this might be a nice touch um, overall pretty impressed uh, we do have some adjustability down in the uh, buttstock area uh, haven't got around to messing with that yet I guess I'll do that today um, nice rifle excited I will follow up oh yeah and it comes with there's a little pouch up here that comes with a little owner's manual there um, I will follow up after I get the US optics uh, scope mounted on there with another video I'll let you guys see what that looks like and maybe the Picatinny rail will be here by then all right uh, if you're on the fence about this I'd, I'd jump off these these I got this from centerfire arms um, centerfire guns I think it was um, I think in Utah uh, found them on the internet shipped for sixteen hundred and eighty seven dollars um, that's the most rifle I've seen for sixteen hundred and eighty seven dollars in my life um, yeah. proofs in the pudding though when once we shoot it but uh, uh, first impressions are really nice this is amazing amazing uh, rifle setup here uh, alright I'll follow up with a video after I get the uh, optics mounted thanks for watching